hop hop Nein, hop hop Alright guys, this shepherd's been here a little under a week. Uh, when it came, it was a 100% on-leash dog. This dog, I believe, live in, lives in Burke. Uh, it's right there on the borderline of Burke and Clifton. Um, never been off-leash before as far as being able just to run and do his own thing. Right now, it's learning the value of a place, okay? I don't really care if he turns, spins, walks around, but he can't come off the table when he's here. 100% on the e-collar at this point. We live amongst mountains and a lot of wide open spaces. If he wanted to run, he could take off and he would be gone. Uh, but we have full trust at this point in his uh, impulse control to run, which was a problem when he came. Young Shepherd, awesome dog, uh, working line, show line cross, doing really, really, really. All right, guys, one of the awesome benefits of having a dog on an e-collar is freedom, clarity, and relationship. Communication, understanding, rules, boundaries, limitations, all these things come together when you correctly, with a professional, imprint an e-collar. An e-collar should never be the hammer. It should never be viewed as, well, he doesn't work to this, just put him on the collar, press a button, let's see what happens. Control delivery of stem proper control delivery of stem. You can get a dog much more motivated, much more enthusiastic when we have control delivery of stem and high value reward. You cannot reward and have value without a correction if it's necessary, nor can you correct without a valuable reward or the dog will learn, especially a high drive edgy dog to resist, fight or avoid the correction. We don't want that either. We want a dog to always comply. All right guys, number two, uh, another German Shepherd also here for board and train, hanging out for a little bit and we're working on a place to make, okay? Each dog is different. Each dog learns at a different pace. We have a full house right now, so I can't avoid some of the noise and distraction in the back. But, uh... Yes. Oh. 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 Yes! Good boy.
Sit. Sit. Shepard, uh, been here almost the exact same amount of time. We try to stack them like that. Again, this dog, when I picked it up, was on a 30 foot long line, staked to the ground. The dog would run, would chase deer, would chase livestock. We have more deer here than even comparable to where the dog came from. We have chickens, we have other dogs, we have all kinds of stuff. This dog's very nosy, um, but off leash 100% and on the collar. Up, up. She's doing very good place work right now. Yes which is something that was specific to her owner that he wanted to be able to have her outside while he's chopping wood, working on their property and have her outside off leash and not worry about her taking off. So we're rocking with her. Okay guys, again, different dog, been here approximately the same amount of time, same basic issues going into it, and the exact same Nipopo methodology going forward. Yes, she's on an e-collar, of course. We have to have a way to apply the operant with the classical. We use high value treats, dehydrated beef and liver, all real stuff, real meat. I mean, this is all human edible. It doesn't taste good, but you can eat it. Knowing that if she comes off, she'll be immediately corrected. This is a Garmin Pro 550 at a level one. I'm not sure if you can see that. We're not rocking dogs out here, but we are given very precise measured stem at the precise time to tell her stay on the table. And if you stay on your place, then you get the food. So we're gonna mark her with a verbal and call her back on a recall with a tone at the same time. We are pairing the two. Yes. Uh. She can break and release on the mark. Very important. You see people doing this all the time. They're marking and clicking, but they want the dog to maintain a position. No, 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 no. When you click or mark, that dog should be coming at you, okay? She's not approaching right now with speed, drive, and power because she's only been here for a short time. She's an old dog. She doesn't know the game yet. With a puppy, I'd have this dog flying in at 100 miles an hour, damn near tackling me every time I call her into me. Very, very important. So again, remember, the click, the whistle, the tone, the word, whatever your mark is, a mark is a precise measurement of time and a release of behavior. If you want the dog to maintain the behavior, you have to have a continuation marker. Good, 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 yes! But when we mark it, the girl, super. When we mark it, we have to reward the mark, okay? So there's a big difference between a continuation marker and a mark and release, as well as a negative mark, which can be, again, word, tone, and or correction. All right, guys, in closing, anything you see that can help you with your dog, we're all about helping you. We're located in Loudoun County and uh, the DC metro area. When it comes to boarding dogs, we're pretty specific to the Nova DMV area. When it comes to training dogs, we'll go all up and down the East Coast, uh, pick up dogs and run them back. You gotta cover the gas, but we'll go get them. So, Anything you see that can help you with your dog. Again, these dogs are only one week into training, not even a week, about five days into training. They're off leash, place commands are down, distraction, they're training in front of dogs, we're throwing metal around, they're waiting for it. We're all about motivation, drive, enthusiasm, high level reward with control delivery of STEM for correction. Combined, you know, the knee po pole system is hard to beat, it really is. So all credit to the Balones who, you know, patent the system, manufacture it, whatever, but Ridgeside K9, if we can help you, give us a call.